Here we are, the end of Witch Queen week, and what better to end on than Dead Messenger? Making weapons out of Breach grenade launchers can be tricky, but this thing looks so cool I just have to see it through. Thanks to Biscuit for recommending Dead Messenger. As I said before, breach grenade launchers can be tough. That's usually because of the cylindrical tube shape they have, which means I'm kind of stuck making tube shaped weapons. Luckily, this grenade launcher ended up being much more versatile. Of course, we'll start with the hand cannon. I just love how the barrel looks here. And by the way, isn't that the same symbol that was on Invective back in Destiny 1? Maybe it's just similar. Either way, this is looking pretty cool. Here's the animation. And if you want some more range, here's the scout rifle. The barrel here is a bit bulky for a scout rifle, but my options were somewhat limited with this weapon. This is the animation. And you know I've got to make a rocket launcher out of this. I'd say this is one of the better rocket launchers I've made, but that makes sense considering it's made out of a breech grenade launcher. Here it is shooting. Next is something a little smaller. Sidearm. This is very basic, but I think overall it works. Let's see it shooting. And lastly, the shotgun. This is definitely one of my favorites. The barrel is really the perfect shape for a shotgun barrel. Plus, I was able to use part of the front grip as a pump. Here it is in action. And that does it. This has been pretty exhausting, but actually quite a lot of fun. On day one, I accidentally clickbaited 900 people with Osteostriga. Then on day two, I covered Parasite, Grand Overture on day three, and now Dead Messenger on the fourth and final day. I'll be taking a break from uploading for a few days, but I'll be right back with some more suggestions of yours. I appreciate everyone who watches. Thanks. Take care.